I love the fact that in climbing, your mind is so occupied by something so irrelevant as a piece of rock, as a boulder problem, and you can just immerse yourself in that tiny, insubstantial thing, which for some reason carries so much weight and importance to you. It's so irrelevant, it's so meaningless, but it becomes so meaningful to us. Close. Okay, sit down please. Ah! Didn't get my foot high enough. I'm Jerome. I'm 31 years old. Why do people always want to include their age when they're describing themselves? It's a thing, isn't it? I'm 31 years old. I started climbing on a birthday party when I was about 14 and loved it and was going regularly since then. I've been a paramedic for six years. I just like driving really fast on blue flashing lights, <laughs> going through busy streets when you're going to a, a life-threatening emergency is actually a really big buzz and I think anyone who said there wasn't is lying. <laughs> I did all my training in London and I still have a uh, what's called a bank contract with them and I also have a bank contract with the Yorkshire Ambulance Service. During the pandemic when London was the, the greatest affected by a long way I felt that that was where I was most needed everything was unknown. So we didn't really know how to treat patients properly or efficiently and manage the pandemic. Okay, we just take some really deep breaths. That's it. I think we all realized that this was an extraordinary time. We all went into the situation with an open mind. We were all resigned to the fact that we would probably get it. And a lot of us did catch it. What pushed us through was the support we were getting from the public the gratitude that was shown, the messages of help from our family and friends. That was just mind blowing. Where we want to be. It was an overwhelming time. The headlines, the news was just full just of COVID-19. All our clinical updates were just full of better ways to manage coronavirus patients, clean equipment effectively. We were updating our practice on a daily basis. And, and all the patients we were going to, they were COVID-19 patients for a time. Our world was just immersed. We were all immersed in COVID-19, as everyone was. It was hiring for the public. It was hiring for us. Just the constant sound of sirens. People in pain all the time. Poverty, going to cardiac arrest, constantly having to put PPE like on. Living on the bread line. Gloves, masks, aprons. Cyclical shift patterns, which is so bad. Your, your body health. clock is just like all over the place. Going from days to nights. Oh man, not being able to climb, that was Back a hard to one. days. I didn't see my family Breaking for bad news. Five months. All the gyms were closed. It's like you're constantly in jail. Always feeling tired. tired. Chronic pain. Bed after always. bed of sick patients. At the time, I don't feel very much in our job, but afterwards it comes. You have the, the imagery, the memory, and that is when I find climbing really comes into its own because you can finish a shift and just go out to, to the moors, be on your own, surrounded by absolutely nothing, and just kind of forget it all. Have nothing but a piece of rock to think about. And for me, that's just extraordinary. 
anything that's occupying your mind just kind of melts away. my line of work on an ambulance in a hospital. Generally, they're very clean clinical environments, generally. <laughs> um, and I think getting away from all that where you don't have to wash your hands every 10 minutes, where you don't have to put a mask on and gloves and an apron and just let yourself get muddy and chalky and sweaty and all the rest of it. That is so valuable in itself. I've shaped my life around climbing. For me, my job is, is important. I love being a paramedic. I love being able to help people, but climbing is just as important. And I love the juxtaposition between the two. For anyone who has a stressful job, find something that you're passionate about. Find something that will remove you totally from that environment, that place that you can escape to, both physically and in your head and do it as much as possible. Why not? There's something really fundamental and elemental about climbing, being surrounded by the moorlands, forests, sea cliffs. It takes you to some incredible places and whenever I go to something that's particularly bad, I can just escape that and go into my memory and, you know, take myself to, to these cool places, you know, go off to the, the Yorkshire Dales or to the Lake District or to the Alps or anywhere that I've been to or want to go to and can imagine, yeah, just having that little area to escape to I think is is like so important and possibly one of the best things about climbing for me.